Welcome to Top 10 Archive. We've all heard the expression, a fish out of water. That's exactly what we are when we compare ourselves to some of these master marine swimmers. You may be surprised to know that number one can swim faster than a cheetah can run. Number 10, Bonefish. The bonefish inhabits tropical and warm temperate waters worldwide and travel in schools until adulthood, then go at life solo. They can get to be 14 pounds or 6 kilograms in weight and 2.5 feet or 77 centimeters in length. The top half of the bonefish is a bluish green color with bright silver scales along its sides and underbelly. Distinctive characteristics include a sucker type mouth, a cone shaped head, and a deeply forked tail. They also have no spine, helping them as a bottom dweller while they feed on crabs, shrimp, and worms. Whole schools may be easily spooked but bonefish are built for speed out of necessity as it is their only defense against predators. At short burst of speed, bonefish can reach 40 miles or 64 kilometers per hour. Number nine, blue sharks. It's highly unlikely that you'll ever see this shark, that is, unless you're diving. Blue sharks are found in deep subtropical waters in cooler areas. They sometimes travel thousands of miles in order to follow food sources, preferring squid as their main course, though they will eat other smaller sharks, mollusks, and various fish. Obtaining food is a bit easier for the blue shark, as they are one of the few species that will stick together hunting in small packs. On average, these sharks will get to 12 and a half feet or 4 meters in length and 450 pounds or 204 kilograms in weight, which is not as hefty as most sharks. Though rarely, blue sharks have been known to attack humans and boats and are considered a dangerous species. Over short distances, the blue shark can reach speeds of 43 miles or 69 kilometers per hour. Number 8. Wahoo The wahoo fish, located in tropical and subtropic saltwater areas across the world, are medium-sized creatures, with the largest wahoo being a reported 8 feet or 2.4 meters in length and about 184 pounds or 83 kilograms in weight. The overwhelming abundance of this fish has made it a target for commercial fishermen and scientists alike. Often mistaken for a mackerel, their difference lies in a patch of skin that covers the mouth of the wahoo when closed, and the wahoo's mandible does not show prominently. They sport razor-sharp teeth as well as blade-like fins, which they use to help propel them through the water at around 48 miles or 77 kilometers per hour. Considered to be highly aggressive, any fish or animal that can fit in its mouth is considered food, but they're mainly known to eat squid. Number 7. Yellowfin Tuna the most colorful of all tunas, their back is bluish black, fading into silver on the lower flanks and belly with a golden yellow or iridescent blue stripe that runs from the eye to the tail. Yellowfin tuna have been reported to be as large as 8 feet or 2.4 meters in length and weigh up to 440 pounds or 229 kilograms. Found worldwide in warm temperate waters, its diet depends on the local cuisine which range from flying fish, squid, crustaceans, and other small fish. They are migratory and travel in schools, consisting of other marine life their size, which include whale sharks, whales, porpoises, and dolphins. Able to fold their fins inward, this allows the yellowfin tuna to streamline their torsos and maximize their swimming speeds up to 50 miles or 80 kilometers per hour. Number 6. Blue Marlin Largest amongst the billfish family, they reach a length of 14 feet or 4.25 meters and weigh more than 2,000 pounds or 900 kilograms. Blue marlins can put up an incredible fight when hooked, and it's no wonder why sport fishermen consider landing a blue marlin a notch in the belt when they do. They are native to the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans and migrate these as they follow the seasonal currents. Marine biologists don't consider this fish endangered yet, but there's still concern of them being overfished, and that's why most anglers participate in a catch and release program. Blue marlins tend to be solitary creatures, feasting on smaller fish near the surface and diving deeper for squid during the day. They're a powerful swimming engine that has exceeded 50 miles or 80 kilometers per hour. Number five, Mahi Mahi. Found in warm tropical climates, Mahi Mahi are also called dolphin fish, which often confuses people to think that they are a porpoise or dolphin. But mahi-mahi are not marine mammals and have no relation to the dolphin family whatsoever. Males and females can easily be distinguished as the males have pronounced heads with an obtrusive forehead and the females have rounded heads. 
They reach lengths of four and a half feet or 1.4 meters and get up to 40 pounds or 18 kilograms. Mahi-mahi have a long dorsal fin running from their head to the lower back and a tall, narrow shaped body, which makes them ideal swimmers reaching speeds of 57 and a half miles or 93 kilometers per hour. Number four, Mako shark. These sharks are found all over the world, including shallow waters close to shorelines and deep waters, regardless of whether it is warm or cold waters. Feeding on primarily tuna, herring, and swordfish, but not limited to this diet, Mako sharks aren't picky when it comes to food. It isn't uncommon for this shark to be seen leaping 20 feet or 6 meters out of the water, and although there is no known reason why they do this, it's speculated that they're searching for food. Using flexible scales on its body, the Mako shark can pull off tight underwater turns during high-speed pursuits that can reach 60 miles or 97 kilometers per hour. Averaging 8 feet or 2.4 meters in length, these sharks can carry their weight well, which can be up to 1,000 pounds or 454 kilograms. Number 3. Swordfish Also called a broadbill, they are a large marine fish of tropical and temperate waters throughout the world. They're an important commercial fish with thousands of tons harvested annually, of which Japan accounts for one-fourth of the world catch. They're caught with harpoons or by setting up lures on lines as they can slash their way out of nets. Swordfish can weigh more than 1,000 pounds or 450 kilograms, but on average are about 200 pounds or 91 kilograms. A sword on a swordfish is about one-third of its body length and are speculated by scientists to help break up schools of fish so it can attack them one at a time. They may also use it as an aid in swimming as it breaks the flow of water, making it easier for them to swim. Swordfish can slice through the water at speeds of 60 miles or 97 kilometers per hour. Number two, sailfish. Related to other billed fish, such as marlins and swordfish, sailfish can travel up to 68 miles or 109 kilometers per hour. Popular amongst sport fishermen for the challenge, they're also notoriously hard to study because they migrate frequently and are found hundreds of miles from shore. Unfortunately, overfishing has caused a decline in their numbers over the years, which is relatively surprising since they have little value in commercial enterprises as their meat is relatively tough. Sailfish live in both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, reaching an average of 6 feet or 1.8 meters in length. Number 1. Black Marlin A highly rated game fish, anglers would love to contend with this fish's size, power, and persistence. But be warned, it can travel up to 80 miles or 129 kilometers per hour. It's easily identified, as it is the only marlin that has rigid pectoral fins that cannot lie flat against its body without breaking the joints. These fish can reach a length of 16 feet or 5 meters and weigh up to 1,650 pounds or 750 kilograms. Slight variations in color cause some black marlin to have a silvery haze, hence being called the silver marlin in Hawaii and white marlin in Japan. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to visit and sign up with our friends at Geek Fuel by using our affiliate link found in the description section. For just $20 a month, you'll receive at least $50 worth of geeky stuff that you'll actually use. Each box comes with a t-shirt you'll actually want to wear and a free Steam game download, usually valued at $10 or more. Don't miss out on this monthly box that Stan Lee himself endorses. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to keep updated on more lists like these, box openings, and giveaways. No, I don't do much fishing, but I have a friend who said he got a new rod and reel for his wife. Best trade he ever made. Wahoo!